Silver! Silver! Fiery horse with the speed of light, the cloud of dust, and the hearty hi Silver! The Lone Ranger! With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, we go. Are you Silver? A short, stocky man entered the cafe in Dry Gulch and sauntered toward a corner table where Blackie Smartin, professional gambler, sat over a game of solitaire. Hi, Jay. Sit down. Yeah. Well, Blakey, things are all set. You told Jed Harrison about Jim Woodley? Yep. When you told me yesterday that Harrison was to pick up 10000 in gold at the bank this afternoon, I went right out to his spread. How'd Jed take it? Ah, you know, Jed, being an ex-lawman, he never did have any use for anyone who broke the law. <laughs> he was just getting ready to mount up and ride out to the range when I reined up in front of his ranch house. Oh, hold there, oh boy. Oh. Uh, hi there, Jed. Howdy, Jake. What brings you out here? Uh, just passing by. <clears throat> Seeing as how I was near your spread, I... Dropped in to let you know something I heard in town. What you hear that's so important? Well, now, I don't know as it's so important, but, uh, well, I do think it's something you ought to know. Well, tell me, then. I've got work to do before sundown. It's about that new ranch hand of yours, Jed. Young Jim Woodley? What about him? Did he uh, tell you much about himself when you took him on? He said he was a good ranch hand, needed a job, so I hired him. Well, maybe it won't make any difference to you, Jed, but... Uh, that hombre did time in territorial prison for a bank job in Stockton. What? That's right. You can check with the warden up there if you want to. Eh? I just thought you ought to know. Well, of all. So that jailbird had the nerve to come here and take a job in my spread, did he? Oh, steady, boy. boy. <laughs> I'll go right out to the range and tell him to get off this spread pronto and to stay off. I'll show that young owl hoot he can't put anything over on Jed Harrison. Get out there, boy. Jim Woodley. You say he rode off to fire him, Jake, but did he do it? How do you know Woodley didn't slick talk his way out of it? I made sure he didn't. <laughs> I snuck along as soon as I could hear what Jed told him. He went up to where Woodley was working and started right in without no preliminaries. Woodley, I've been hearing things about you. Yeah? How's that, Mr. Harrison? When you come here to work for me, I didn't ask you a lot of questions. I asked your precious few. 
But I warned you that I wanted straight answers to those few questions. You remember that? Yes, sir. I remember that. I asked you for one thing, if you'd ever been in any crooked deals. You told me that you hadn't. Well, that's the truth. Then how come you spent a term in prison for bank robbery? Uh, how'd you know about that? Then it's true. Oh, yes, it's true, but I wasn't guilty. I was framed. Framed? That's what every crook says. I was, but... Oh, uh, what's the use? I, I thought I could close the book on my past, you but... You can close been... the book on this here job. Take your gear and get... Fired, huh? Fired as of right now. Get off this land as fast as you can get. Well, Jim got off the place in short order. And he's here in town right now. Where's he staying, Jake, do you know? Yeah, he's over the hotel. He's got a room there. <laughs> it's a good thing he didn't know we were the ones that framed him for that bank job. <laughs> yeah, he'd blow up if he knew it. He'd blow even higher if he knew we were about to frame him again. He sure comes in handy. Jay, uh... How are we going to do it, Blackie? You got that figured out yet? I got a tip off that Jed Harrison will pick up his gold at the bank in about half an hour. Then he'll start back to his ranch. You ride on ahead to that cottonwood grove along the trail. Wait for him there. Be sure he doesn't see you. You won't. Don't worry. Let Jed go past. And then let him have it. One shot's all I need. Grab the gold and hide it there in the big hollow tree. Then take a roundabout way to town. What are you going to do, Blackie? I'm going to see to it that Jim Woodley gets the blame, while we'll have the pleasure of spending Jed's 10000 I'll get going, Jake. Make sure you do a good job. A short time later, Blackie approached Jim Woodley, who was sitting on the porch of the local hotel. Clerk tells me you're Jim Woodley. That's right, I am. Uh, haven't I seen you someplace before? Well, maybe I get around. I have a message for you. A message for me? Yes, from Jed Harrison. Now, hold on, stranger. Jed Harrison said enough to me yesterday without sending Take anybody... Take it easy, Woodley. Take it easy. Jed, sorry about yesterday. That's why he sent me to look for you. Sorry? I guess I don't savvy what now, you... listen... Jed Harrison told me to find you and tell you he lost his temper yesterday. He says to forget the past and come on out to his ranch to work again. When did Jed Harrison tell you this? Short time ago. He was in town. But he had to get back to the ranch. He said for you to follow right away. He wants to have a talk with you and settle things. Now, if you hurry, you might be able to catch up to him on the trail. Well, I... I don't know. I do need a job. Go on. Get your horse and ride after him. You can talk things out with him when you meet well, all right. I guess it won't do any harm. I'll go. Thanks for the message. After watching Jim Woodley mount his horse and ride out of town, Blackie Martin went to the sheriff's office. What are you doing here, Martin? Giving yourself up? <laughs> this is no laughing matter, Sheriff Molly. You better get your men together for some riding if you want to keep Jed Harrison from being murdered. Uh, what? That's right. I overheard something that makes me believe Jed's in danger. Well, speak up. What did you hear? Yesterday, it seems Jed fired one of his men, a young army by the name of Jim Woodley. I overheard Woodley just a little while ago say that he was going to get even. And a short time after Jed hit the trail for his ranch, Jim Woodley set out after him. I thought you ought to know. Uh, so he's following Jed Harrison, huh? Larry! Larry! Yeah, what's up, sir? Well, seeing as you're my deputy, you got to come along with me to prevent a killing. Get a couple of other men to come along. Why, well, sure, Chef. I'll be with you in a minute. Make it sooner than that. We got to get going and pronto, or Jed Harrison will be dry gulched down the trail. Come on, get a move on you. <laughs> It was late in the afternoon when the Lone Ranger and Tonto stopped to make camp. They selected a site that was well off the trail and were making preparations for an early supper. The town of Dry Gulch is about six miles from here, Tonto. Take the papers there in the morning, give them to our old friend Sheriff Morley. Ah, it better we rest here tonight, Kimasabi. It's a long ride from Stockton. I... You hear that, Tonto? Ah, sound like shot come from trail. Yes, perhaps we'd better investigate. Here, Silver, Scout. Is it big 
Um, good thing we're not on saddle horses yet. Yes, it is. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. See anything, fellow? No, me not see. Look, he must have a head on trail near Cottonwood. A horse without a rider. Yes, there's someone lying there on the ground. Come on. Come on, Silver. Come on, Scout. Still alive, maybe we can help him. Uh-huh. Who's over? Oh, 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 Your eyes open, Tato. The one who shot him may still be near here. Uh, uh, watch. He's dead, Tato. Shot in the back. Uh, not enough good. And what we do? Get his horse. We'll put the body across the saddle and take him to town at the coroner's office. Uh, me get horse. Good. Steady there. That's it. Here. Here, horse. Good. Now we lift him into the saddle. Ah. 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 Big man. Yes. Well dressed. Ah. Easy, Silver. Steady. It'd be daylight. For a while. It'd be dark by the time we get to town. Yes. Come on, Silver. Get him up, Scout. The Lone Ranger and Tonto had gone about a quarter of a mile toward town, leading the horse that bore the body of Jed Harrison. As they skirted a hill covered with boulders, Tonto suddenly called a halt. Wait, he must have been. Who's over Who? Oh, what's the matter, Tonto? You hear horse and trail ahead. Uh, won't do for us to be seen with this dead man. Uh, better we hide behind big boulders on the hillside. Yes, hurry. We'll turn to the side here. Yeah. Come, Scott. Come, Tonto. Oh, the body slid from the saddle. Time to pick him up now. Come on, Tonto. I'm Silver. Get him up, Scout. Here, Tonto. Behind this big boulder. Oh, Silver. Oh, quiet. Steady, Easy. Steady, 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 quiet now. Oh, oh, oh. What him do? You see him? Yes, he's bending over the body. Mr. Harrison. Mr. Harrison. Him not know man dead. He seems upset, I think it. Listen, Tonto. Uh-huh. We hear other hoofbeats, many horses. Yes, I see them, four men. Now, wait a minute, Sheriff. You don't understand. You understand, all right, Jim Woodley. You heard the main trench again, Jed Harrison. They spotted him out of town this afternoon. Sure, now we caught you right hand. It'll be lucky if we can keep the man in town from screwing him up. I didn't do it, I tell you. I guess this man come up the trail and found Mr. Harrison lying here, just like this. Yes, yes. Keep us happy. Yes. We know young fellow not do it. He could have, Tonto, but it's not likely. All right, men. Poor Jed out of his horse, and we take this killer back to town. Take his guns, Tom. Come on, Bill. Help me get Jed on his horse. I got his guns. Well, I guess the sheriff Larry can take care of that on Rick. Fair enough, men. Gotta get back to town and get this out hoot into jail before the news gets out. Yeah. We're ready, Sheriff. All right, then, fellow. Get under your prom. And no funny business. I'll you what. Sheriff, if you can only listen to reason, I'll tell you. Can't do it. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. Get up there. The young fellow not have a chance. Him get hung, maybe. I don't think so. You not think young fellow kill man we find on trail? I'm quite sure he didn't. Then why you not tell Sheriff? When you give him papers, Kimasabi. Uh, more to convince than the Sheriff, Tonto. The best way to prove that he didn't kill the man they called Harrison is to find the one who did kill him. And that's just what we're going to do. One silver enough, Scout. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
continue our story. From their hiding place behind a large boulder, the Lone Ranger and Tonto watch the sheriff and his men arrest Jim Woodley for the killing of Jed Harris. After waiting a few minutes, the Lone Ranger and Tonto followed the group of horsemen down the trail toward the town. It was almost an hour later when Jim was led into the jailhouse and taken to a cell at the back. All right, Woodley, get inside. Oh, now, look, Sheriff, I didn't kill him, honest. You can tell by looking at my guns, they're both still loaded. Uh, could have reloaded before he rode up, Woodley. Nope, we caught you red-handed. You threatened Jed. You followed him. We found him shot in the back. That's evidence enough. I didn't threaten him. I was told Take to go... Take breath, young fella. You may need it. You gotta go out now and make sure no lynch mob comes a storm in the jail. When the news gets around, it's gonna be plenty bad. Uh, I guess it's no use. No matter what I say, they look... What the... Here, over at the window. Uh, in the moonlight shining through that window, it looks like you have a mask on. I have. Never mind that now. And here's a friend I came to help you. <laughs> How can you help me? The window's barred. I, no... I want you to answer some questions, Jim. You know my name? I heard them call you Jim out on the trail. When they arrested you, I was watching. And maybe you killed Jed here, sir. No, I didn't kill him. I'm going to find out who did. Why were you following Harrison? Well, a friend of his came to me and told me Harrison wanted to talk to me about coming back to work for him. And he suggested I ought to ride after Jed and do the talking along the trail. Who was the man who told you all that? Uh, I don't know his name, but he did look kind of familiar. He's tall and dark, talked smooth like, and had shaggy eyebrows and a big black mustache. I see. Well, Jim, don't give up hope. I think we'll find a way to get you out of this. But how can you help... Adios till we meet again. Meantime, in the cafe, Blackie and Jake were doing their utmost to arouse the men against Jim Woodley. Now, wait a minute. It seems to me, men, that when a man's caught red-handed like Jim Woodley was... Standing right over the man he'd killed. Something ought to be done about it right away. Yeah, sure. I heard Jed Harris was carrying $10,000 in gold when he was killed. Guess that's why Woodley went after him. He must have hid the gold amongst the rocks. Shot Jed in the back, too. Jed Harrison was one of the best ranchers around here. He was everybody's friend. Even Woodley's. Until he found out Jim had done time in territorial prison. Jim Woodley's a proved crook and a killer. So why wait for the law to act? Come on, let's go get him. Yeah, what are we waiting for? Let's stream up. Get some rope, somebody. Let's go to Jim. Get what we While Blackie and Jake were arousing the crowd, Tonto approached the Lone Ranger, who stood in the shadows behind the jail. Did you spot him, Tonto? Uh. Tall, dark man with mustache and cafe with short, stocky fella. Them give strong talk to crowd about young fella in jail. Them say, get rope, hang him. I expected that move. Them come to jail now. <laughs> yes, let's move toward the front. Here, Tonto. This is a message for the sheriff. Give it to one of the deputies as soon as you can. Ah. Now we'll wait here in case the sheriff needs help. <laughs> And you ain't going to stop it, Sheriff. Keep your guns on him, Larry. I sure will. Now, uh, listen to me. I'm Sheriff here. Nobody's going to lynch anybody out of my jail, Savvy. And the first man that tries to bust his way in here is going to get a bullet in his hide. Hey, Sheriff. An engine over there at the edge of the porch gave me this note for you. He says it's important. Tom, I ain't got no time now for no... Huh. What's that? Something shiny. What's a bullet? Looks like a silver bullet. A silver bullet? Let me see that note. Keep him covered while I move over to the window to read this. I got him covered. We're warning you, Sheriff. We're going to take Jim Woodley. Yeah, and you ain't going to stop us much longer. Let's rush it right now. We'll be done with it. Right. Hold on, everybody. Got a note here that's important. I want you to listen while I read it to you. Quiet, everybody. Now, listen to this. If you want positive evidence against the killer of Jed Harrison, go to the scene of the crime and you'll get it. Well, what's that mean, Sheriff? 
It means just what it says, I reckon. That's some kind of trick. You've got evidence enough already. You can take my word for it. It isn't any trick. And if we find positive evidence that Jim Woodley did kill Harrison... By thunder, I'll help you string him up. So there. Yeah. I just want us to leave so your deputies can take Woodley away. Yeah, you can't fool us that way. Now, well, listen. I'll have my deputies bring Woodley right along with us, and we'll all go out to the scene of the crime. How about it? All right, all right, all right. All right then. The moon's plenty bright, but you better come and get some lanterns and torches to take along. Now, all of you, get ready to ride. And I'll lead you right to the spot where we found Jed Harrison's body. All right. All right. Working, Toto. Did you keep an eye on the two men? Yeah. And them here Sheriff Reed note. Then leave crowd, get horses, and ride trail out of town. Good, steady, big fella. <laughs> we'll have to do some fast riding to catch up with them. Come on, Silver. Get them up, Scout. I'd sure like to know who sent that note, what he meant by it. You think it meant somebody found a gold in the hollow tree? How do I know? The main thing is for us to get there in plenty of time to get the gold before the sheriff and the men get there. And if there's any evidence, I want to know it. I don't see how there could be anything. I was plenty careful when I took the gold out of the saddlebags and hid it. I know I didn't drop anything to be evidence. That's what you think. But somebody found out something or the sheriff wouldn't have received that note. There's a cottonwood grove just ahead. I know. Ho, oh, oh, ho there, ho. Oh. Oh, come on. Let's look in the hollow tree. All right, I'm coming. <laughs> Uh, this is a tree right here. Uh, let's see if the gold is still in there. Come on, boy. Get up there. Get up there, boy. You're almost there, boys. What are you bringing me out here for? Just take it easy, son. You'll find out soon enough. There's the place, Sheriff. Just ahead. Yep, that's it, all right. What do you say, Woodley? Is that the place you found you bending over Jed Harrison? I, uh, I guess so. Guess he's afraid of what we'll find there. Yeah. Remember, Sheriff, you told the crowd if you found positive proof, like that note said, that pointed to Woodley, you'd help string him up yourself. Yep, that's just what it did say. Uh, you're the sheriff. You're supposed to prevent lynching. Nobody said there was going to be a lynching, son. Here we are. Who? Oh, 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 oh. All right, everybody, get your lanterns and torches and see what you can find in the way of evidence. And make sure you cover every inch of the ground. Now get busy. Now, what do you find, Jake? It's still here. There it is. Good. Carry it over your horse while I take a look around. If there's anything else, I want to... Where you are, both of you. Jake, look. Who is it, hombre? Somebody else after this gold, but he won't get it. Jump behind the tree, quick. Oh, my arm. He winged me. Better give up if you know what's good for you. I'll give you an answer to that, outlaw. You want to fight it out, huh? That's all right with me. found the thing, Sheriff. This was a trick after all. Oh, Dag Nabbit, men. That note said we'd find evidence at the scene of the crime. Must be around here somewhere. Uh, we might as well give up, Sheriff. I admit we've covered every inch of ground, but I still think we ought to keep... Uh, what's that? Well, it's come from up the trail a bit. Get to your horses, men. Let's get up there. Come on. Sooner or later. That's what you think. Surround them, men. Hey, we got them covered from all sides. Hey, yeah, look at that big horse. An outlaw and an engine. Hey, there's Blackie Martin. Blackie must have caught him. Quiet. Quiet, everybody. Steady, big fella. <laughs> yeah, what's this all about? Easy, Silver. Oh, Morley, the men you have under your guns over near that tree are the killers of Jed Harrison. <laughs> Right there at their feet is the evidence against them. The gold they took from Jed when they killed him. Well, they couldn't have killed Jed, Sheriff. We found Jed's body a quarter of a mile back on the trail. Yes, that's right. But he was killed right here in this cottonwood grove. How do you know that, masked man? Because my Indian friend and I found him here after we heard the shot that killed him. We were taking him into town when we heard hoofbeats coming up the trail. 
I decided we'd better not be seen. But the body slid from the saddle onto the trail. We hid behind a big boulder and saw Jim Woodley find Jed. Maybe he killed Jed himself. Why should we listen to a last on him? Uh, wait a minute, Ben. This outlaw is working with Woolley. We caught him trying to get away with the gold. That's right, we did. Yeah. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. I sent a note to the sheriff telling him that if you came to the scene of the crime, you'd find evidence. The true killers were the only ones who knew the real scene of the crime. They came here... While all of you went to the other spot. That's right, men. Blackie and Jake lit out before we did, and they came right here to get the gold they hid. I believe the masked man. They killed Jed Harrison. <laughs> you won't do any more things like that. Oh, hey, did you oh. see that? That was quick shooting. Yeah, wing Blackie right through the shoulder. Get their guns, boys. We'll take him in for the murder of Jed Harrison. All right, Sheriff, if you say so. But, Sheriff, we saw Jim Woodley bending over Jed when we found him. You were riding only a short distance behind Jim Woodley. If he had shot Jed, you'd have heard the shot. Now, oh, here are some papers, Sheriff. I was bringing them to you. Hmm. Now, this one says a dying outlaw confessed to robbing a bank with Blackie Martin and Jake Summers and that they framed a man named Jim Woodley for the crime. Why, and that's the same one. Only in Stockton, he didn't have a mustache. I only saw him once. Yes, and he tried to frame you again, Jim. But this time, he didn't get away with it. And now he'll hang for murder, him and Jake both. I'll be seeing you again, Sheriff. Hey, Sheriff, what's the other paper you have? Now, why do you take that masked man's word for everything like you do, Sheriff? Quiet down, all of you! Hey, I'll answer you about this other paper, and that'll answer your second question. This here paper says I'm to give all the help I can to the Lone Ranger in his search for some outlaws up this way. It's signed by the United States Marshal. You mean to say that, man? Yep, man? I sure do. <laughs> That's the man I'm supposed to help. Only he helped me tonight. He's the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? Gosh. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated. 